An Indigenous campaigner, a doctor and a disability advocate have been honoured at the 2014 ACT Women's Awards. Presented to mark International Women's Day, the awards recognise the significant contribution made to the local community by individual women. Katrina Fanning now has another award to add to her collection. Today she was named ACT Woman of the Year for her work ensuring Indigenous women have equal rights at work, in the community and through sport. Ms Fanning is no stranger to the sporting arena. She represented Australia for more than 13 years in rugby league, rugby union and indoor soccer. But she says the role many women play off the field is just as important to sport survival. They're the people running canteens and marking fields and uh, getting kids to trainings and those sort of things. Working at Questacon allows the ACT's Young Woman of the Year to appear to break the rule, first cause no harm. Dr Kate Eisenberg is undertaking her internship at Calvary Hospital after a postgraduate medical degree. But she can't resist passing on her love of science in a sometimes gruesome fashion. It's quite an inspirational thing to show young girls that, yeah, we can do it too. We're just as smart and it's just as much fun for us. It wasn't until an accident in 1995 that Sue Salthouse noticed the disparity disabled women faced in everyday life. The ACT Senior Woman of the Year says disabled women face a double discrimination. We still have a gender pay gap. And we still have women graduates getting less money in their first jobs. Proving that despite great leaps forward, there is still much work to be done in the area of women's rights. Elise Pianagonda, ABC News, Canberra.